Good morning. Here are the headlines for today. World Bank Group have a first-hand look at challenges in Belize. Bulky International Airport bounces back on St. Croix. Bahamas seeks private firms for major airport sector overhaul. Executive directors from the World Bank Group recently visited Belize to see the challenges and the opportunities faced by the Caribbean community. The 10 executive directors met with Prime Minister John Bresenio and Cabinet Ministers visited World Bank-supported projects and met with the Private Sector and the Economic Development Council. Belize is making progress, particularly in addressing climate change and protecting the most vulnerable, said Ayana Doldo, Executive Director of Angola, Nigeria and South Africa. Prime Minister Bresenio spoke about the necessity of support to countries like Belize. We are on track and have made great strides towards achieving our development objectives. But we need to do much more, particularly as one of the most vulnerable countries on earth, he said. This visit to Belize was the first ever under the World Bank's Executive Directors Travel Group. To read more on this article, initially by CMC News, go to CaribbeanNationalWeekly.com. In 2017, the costly hurricane Irma that hit the Caribbean passed near the U.S. Virgin Islands and destroyed much in its path, including the bulky International Airways FBO, the loan service provider at Henry E. Rolson Airport on St. Croix. Bulky remained there for the next five plus years while it wrangled with insurance providers and architects on a replacement facility. In January, the 4,400-square-foot terminal finally opened with one of the first guests being President Biden and his family, who arrived on Air Force One. The company has a 42-square-foot of enclosed hangar space and would be able to shelter the latest ultra-long-range business jets. Bulky currently employs 83 people across all its divisions. To read more on this article written by Curtis Epstein, go to AINonline.com. The Bahamas is launching a pre-qualification bidding process for a major overhaul of its airport sector. Through a public-private partnership scheme, private sector concessionaries will design, build, finance, and or maintain a total of 14 airports. The government will retain ownership and the private firms will be granted a lease up to 30 years. The Project Information Memorandum will be published on the Aviation Department's website and firms will be shortlisted to participate in the Request for Proposal stage. The first phase was launched in March last year. Kenneth Romer, Bahamas Director of Aviation, said that this next phase is an expansion of the initiative designed to enhance the quality of service in targeted airports. To read more on this article, go to BNAmericas. Dot com. Wishing you a great Thursday. This was your Carib Invest headline news to start your day.